Hello virgins above the age of 23 and welcome to another Beast Wizard video. Now everyone in the Smash community is so wholesome, they will die defending any reddit ideology into their fucking grave. But there is one Smash player who goes against the screen, and he's also a pro. And no I'm not talking about me. Although when Steve comes out, you can guarantee fucking tea I'll be shitting on all of you kids. Today I'm talking about Leffen. In particular, his Twitter soy rampages. So without further ado, let's dive in. So we can see that some of Beast's Smash playing fucking loser decided to say some stupid bullshit that I don't have the time or patience to even consider reading. But let's look at Leffen's reply. So basically what I'm gathering here is that Leffen is saying Ultimate is garbage and he's playing it non-stop on stream because it's all that gets views. Now I'm going to come out and say it. Leffen's take here is 100% accurate with no visible flaws or discrepancies in any way. If you play Super Smash Bros., you are one of three things. 12 years old, a soy redditor that weighs 400 pounds and is loved by no one, or a pedophile. Now let's look at Leffen. He fits into none of these. He must have it genuinely hard. He's handsome, totally doesn't look like a 14 year old boy going through puberty. He has to work his ass off in his gaming chair, streaming to Smash Bros. players, which are lo and behold the stupidest motherfuckers to ever spawn onto planet Earth. Alright, let's look at this tweet. It reads, I fucking sold my body and soul to make money, LMAO. You think you have to love and respect every shitty job for money? I'd rather flip burgers at McDonald's if it paid the same amount. Wow, you know what? Leffen is totally right. I mean, sitting in a gaming chair playing Smash for a bunch of future child predators is a daunting task. I mean, how does he have the courage to do it? I have never met anyone who is brave enough to pursue Twitch streaming, besides myself. I mean, look at this clip of a McDonald's worker I found. Wow, that person must have been having so much fun they decided to throw a party at work by throwing glass on the floor. That looks very rewarding, fulfilling, and also enjoyable. Now let's look at this clip. No! Wow, I can really see where he is coming from. Sitting on your pimple face, retarded ass for two hours, getting free money must be really, really hard. I wish I could do that, but no one donates or subscribes to me. Let's change that, guys. Imagine working in the shittiest fucking job, like telemarketing, selling literal poison as, as medicine. At least you get paid. At least you get paid minimum wage. There's not even a guarantee I get paid for, for playing this fucking lagger. That's so insightful. You're right, Leffen. My 8 cents in my bank account is guaranteed, but his 500 subscribers a month are not. You guys know I worked as a dishwasher for McDonald's for 7 years. I mean, I personally think it was worth $5 an hour. Of course. If it meant I was not playing Super Smash Bros. in any fucking capacity, that would make it the best course of action. Well, what did we learn today? We learned that playing video games and making thousands of dollars in a single stream is really hard. And is not preferred over... I tried to be nice! 